Today we will talk about internal ilicordial ligation which is a fertility preserving procedure in women experiencing postpartum hemorrhage. Let us briefly explain the anatomy of internal iliac artery. The abdominal aorta divides into two common iliac arteries at the level between L5 and S1 vertebra. The common iliac artery divides into external and internal iliac arteries. The internal iliac artery divides into two trunks anterior and posterior. Now let us explain the procedure of internal iliac artery ligation. First of all, ask the assistant to hold the uterus after exteriorizing it from abdominal cavity and tilt it to other side to apply a stitch on one side. Mid portion of the round ligament is clamped and divided between the two forceps to enter into retroperitoneal space. A vascular posterior leaf of the broad ligament is further opened with a sharp dissection. Using a moistened gauze on a sponge forceps. The retroperitoneal space is opened with a gentle blunt dissection. Common iliac artery and its bifurcation may be visible, if not immediately visible, can be located by palpation. At this point, identify the ureter and retract it immediately with the attached peritoneum. By using gentle section cannula, identify the bifurcation of common iliac arteries. Clear the areolar tissue around the internal branch. Also palpate or identify the external iliac artery and be in position to palpate the femoral pulse. It's because the main hazard is trauma to the external iliac artery or to the internal iliac vein which lies just beneath the internal iliac artery. Ligate the internal iliac artery about 3 cm from the bifurcation and should avoid the posterior division. In fact, the superior gluteal artery arises from the posterior division. And if we don't take care of that, that may result in ischemic buttocks pain. So in this way, internal iliac artery ligation is performed. Now it may be helpful to elevate the artery gently with a Babcock clamp and pass a double stand of number one absorbable suture behind the artery with a right angle forceps. Pass forcep from lateral to medial to avoid a risk of trauma to the adjacent ileum. Artery is then ligated but not divided. Same procedure is carried out on the other side. The success rates with the internal iliac artery ligation are variable from 40 to 90 percent. Internal iliac artery ligation is a suitable procedure for bleeding from lower uterine segment, cervix, broad ligament and vagina and the paravaginal areas. Now, as internal iliac artery ligation is a very important step in PPH management, so it's a good idea to talk about the PPH algorithm. So, this algorithm is from RCUG guideline about postpartum hemorrhage. You can see here that when we have major obstetric hemorrhage and blood loss greater than 1000 ml and we have continuing major or obstetric hemorrhage or clinical shock, then the first step in the management of PPH would be call for help. And our team would include the senior midwife, obstetrician and anesthetist. At the same time, we would alert the hematologist, alert the blood transfusion laboratory and alert the consultant obstetrician on call. So after calling for help, we would immediately start the resuscitation process which starts from ABC, means airway management, the breathing and circulation. We attach the oxygen mask and start oxygen of about 15 liter. We immediately look after the fluid balance which include 2 liter of isotonic crystallite and 1.5 liter of colloid. We arrange and give O negative or group specific blood and also arrange the FFP, the platelets, the cryoprecipitates, the factor 7A and keep the patient warm. Next comes the monitoring and investigation in which we attach 14 gauge cannula on both sides and send the blood for these sort of investigations. We immediately start the medical management of the PPH. After massaging the uterus, we go for oxytocin, arcometrine, corpoprost, mesoprostol and transexamic acid. If medical management fails, we shift the patient to theater. In the theater, we go for balloon tamponade, the brace suture, and 
consider interventional radiology. Then we go for the surgical management and hysterectomy if needed and shift the patient to HDU. So thank you so much. That was all about internet iliac artery ligation and PPH algorithm. Subscribe on Obs and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.